in order to say that your process is clean from carbon dioxide emissions, you must not be uh, using a use of electricity which has been produced by burning coal. So the electrical furnace is another method to produce steel. It doesn't need any raw material like coal or iron ore, but practically is based on recycling of, uh, of metal. High power electricity, which make an arc, and that arc temperature will melt down the material. It is happening maybe in this furnace through electrodes with practically a control short circuit. And then when the material is melted, you again using oxygen in order to purify the material. And from the bucket, you can take out then the molten steel. And of course, this is helping to reduce the energy consumption by half compared to the energy uh, in the basic blast oxygen furnace. So the raw material for the electric arc furnace can also be this raw iron, but typically it's already once used steel that we call scrap. Scrap is practically metal that uh, it's at the end of life and with the utilization of electrical furnace and melting it and creating new uh, liquid steel, we can give actually a new life. If you're using scrap as raw material, then basically you are not counting any carbon dioxide from that. If you think about uh, producing steel as a process, there are huge amounts of material. Those materials have to be moved and electrical motors typically make the movement. Motor and drives are practically used to move several rotating equipment such as compressor, pump and fan. For instance, the blast furnace, there is a huge amount of uh, hot air that is being blasted into the furnace. And that is made with a compressor, a blower type of an application. There is a big electric motor that is running that, that blower. But as well in the electrical furnace, for example, in the cooling water pump for the shell of the electrical furnace, or for example, for the exhaust fan. That is, of course, a big part of the energy consumption in terms of electricity. Now, by selecting the motor types, by selecting the VFDs, you can impact the efficiency of these processes. Renewable energy, for sure, is important for uh, low-carbon steel. And if this electricity is produced through renewables, of course, we are helping the process to be uh, carbon neutral.